Hello again, everybody. The next car that you've selected to view on ClassicMuscleCars.com is another new exciting arrival. Now, I haven't talked to you for a while because I've been gone for several weeks, and I'm back here, and what's the date today anyway, Jeremy? It's like the 29th, I think. So we're almost into May. So I have been absent. I've been MIA for quite a while now, so I'm back, and we're going to be doing quite a few videos to catch up, and we have a lot of catching up to do. We have probably, Jeremy, what, 15, 17 cars to do, something like that? Easily. So I'm going to tell you folks, stay by your computers and stay online every day because Jeremy is going to be popping up one, two, three, maybe four videos per day for probably the next five to six days. What do you think, right Jeremy? If we can crank them out, they'll be up there. You betcha. But anyway, I'm real excited about this car that came in. I've been waiting for a while to get this. It took us a while to arrange the transport and get it here. Now this is a exceptional thoroughbred investment muscle car. This is a super rare car. I want to tell you why I'm so excited about this car. If in 1969 you bought a 69 Trans Am, this, the Trans Ams all came with the engine, the Trans, the rear end, the options that this car has. Now this car is not a Trans Am, so it's very, very rare. It has everything in it that a Trans Am would, as far as the drivetrain is concerned, and it's set up just like a 69 Trans Am. It's even got the same color of a 69 Trans Am, but it is basically a sleeper. It is a big time, cheap, with wolves, uh, wolves internals in it as far as what we used to do with we'd call cars that were sleeper muscle cars that's what this car is this is a Ram Air 3 400 HO 335 horse four speed car with safety track in the back it also has factory tack and gauges it has wood wheel it has some good options to it it has the blue uh, deluxe interior in it which came in all the Trans Ams and it is a factory white car another good point I want to make about this car this car also is a 11,000 mile car. Now that is something that sometimes it's hard to believe, but we know the history of this car. This car was in storage for a long, long time, well over 20 years. This car came out of California and it has been in storage in a private collection for over 20 years. So we have an exceptionally rare Firebird here. This is the first generation of the Trans Ams when they first came out. They started in 1969. This particular car is not a Trans Am, but it is a rare Ram Air 3 four speed with actual Ram Air on it. It's equipped just like a Trans Am, looks like a Trans Am in terms of its colors, but is not a Trans Am. Now we have PHS documentation to prove out that this car is what it is. I want to go a little bit further to say that probably and I and I can't be sure because you never know for sure but this is possibly the only one of these cars that were ever built like this in this color combination because you know what you're gonna spend the same money for this car that you would if you bought a Trans Am it might have been a few hundred dollars more and you would have had a Trans Am so basically what the person did that ordered this car he wanted to have a car that was everything that a Trans Am was but he didn't want to have the flash on it so that he could go around and do some street racing street racing back in the day was you wanted to, to get a sleeper car and go out if you really wanted to win some races and make some money and I did a lot of street racing in my day and I did it with a lot of sleeper cars. They were cars that didn't look like they were fast or they didn't have a big name but I used to go out and just like guys would hustle pool in a pool hall we'd do the same thing back in the day for racing cars and I won a lot of races on the street with cars that were sleepers. Cars that didn't look like they could do anything but you'd get them out and blow the doors off of your competition because they weren't all the looks of what the car was supposed to be. It was all under the hood. That's what this car is. It looks like a basic Firebird, except it says Ram Air on the hood scoops. And outside of that, you wouldn't be able to, to tell when you look at this car, what this car really was because it didn't say Trans Am, didn't have the, the Trans Am hood, didn't have the Trans Am side scoops in the side. But this is basically the same car uh, as the Trans Am. Now, also, I want to tell you that this car, I really feel, is an 11,000 mile car. How do I know that? Um, one of the things, just watch these doors, okay? 
A lot of these Camaro and Firebird bodies, after they're 30-some uh, years old, you can't do this with them, okay? It's impossible. They get worn out. They have to get redone. I don't care if a car's had a body off restoration. They are only built one way once from the factory, and they are not ever going to be the same again after they have miles on it. I don't care the best restorer in the country puts a car together. They are only built one way, one time from the factory. This car is unbelievable. This my friends, is an 11,000 mile car. I can tell by the interior, but mainly when I see things like this and I can do things like this effortlessly and this car closes and it seals right, this is an 11,000 mile car. So anyhow, uh, Jeremy's gonna go around when he does and he's gonna show you the engine compartment and he's gonna show you the interior of this car. Uh, what I do know is that this car had one repaint. I've looked, a lot of things on this car is original, and um, a lot of the chrome and stainless that's on the car is original. Now, it does have a set of red line tires all the way around on it. The interior in the car looks to me like possibly the two front seats have been recovered, but outside of that, the rest of it's original. Uh, it, it's just an excellent condition throughout. It's a 100% dry, dry California car. Now this car has been enclosed in a collection put away for over 20 years. It's out right now for you to see. This is a very rare car. It's something that you talk about the investment grade muscle cars of today. This is an investment grade thoroughbred investment muscle car. This is a car that you can buy now and it's going to keep going up in value over the next five to ten years tremendously. This is a great opportunity for you to get into something that is a numbers rare, rare car because you cannot find this car around every corner. The Firebirds right now themselves that are Trans Ams have just went through the roof in terms of what they're selling for and here you have a car that's possibly the only one that was ever built like this. It's very rare no matter where you take the car, no matter where you show the car, no matter who sees the car, they're always going to ask you about it because it is an exceptionally rare car. Now I'm going to turn you over to Jeremy. He's going to give you a complete go around of the car. You need to call Ed at 847-526-5950. Ask him about this car. He can send you some copies of the PHS documentation so that you can take a look of how this car was built, how it was equipped, and believe you me, it is a rare 69 Firebird sleeper. Ram Air 3, 335 horse, 400 HL, 4 speed with factory Ram Air. When Jeremy goes around, I want him to show you this unique Ram Air setup that they had. It was an excellent functioning system that they came up with and it works very well and it helps the car to perform. So I'm going to turn you over to Jeremy and he'll give you a complete go through and remember what I said, give that a call 847-526-5950 or email him. He'll get back to you on email also. A bit, but let's get a look at it while we're here. Go for a walk around. Actually, while we're here, let's take a look under the hood because we can. There's the official Ram Air 3 air cleaner assembly, part of which is right there in the hood. That's kind of neat. Beautifully clean, very stock. Very nice. Let's close the hood. We're trying this with our new camera. We're trying this without any external lighting. It's looking pretty good so far. is nice and straight. That red glow is coming from this guy. We're here in our Elvis room right now. Both 
chrome is looking quite good. As Tony pointed out, the stainless on the car, the glass, that looks quite original. There's the ram air on the hood. Let's go for a look on the inside. That's a little better. The first shifter with the Pontiac knob. In the back seat, interior is looking extremely nice. Eleven thousand one thirty seven point one. It gets AM. And over here, the oil pressure, fuel, and temperature gauge. You got the factory tack there. Windshield wiper. And down there, something people aren't familiar with these days, the headlight dimmer. It's got the remote mirror. It's looking pretty good. The headliner is looking great. And we have a functional dome light as well as the lights underneath. Very nice. Let's go take a look in the trunk. That works well. And the interior here is extremely clean. With a jack, tire iron, the base, the whole deal. Very nice. Toss the keys back in so no one loses them. There we have it. 1969 Pontiac Firebird 400 Ram Air 3. Four speed. Safety track. As Tony was saying, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs>